That also already has happened. Shit. Oh, hell, let's just do what we always do. Hijack some nuclear weapons and hold the world hostage. Yeah. Now, the Tesla stock chart looks a little bit familiar. I mean, it looks like the Bitcoin chart and we knew what will happen to the Bitcoin price. But is Tesla really the worst bubble of 2020? Well, we have seen people and voices like this all over the stock market throughout the recent years. OK, there was people that said uh, Amazon is overvalued at uh, $97 per share. Now it's $3,000 per share. We saw that people said $33 billion for a market cap of Facebook is way overvalued. Now it's 834. The same goes with Google when the share price was at 245 and now it's 1,600. So as you can see, those things are happening all over again. And let's dive into the Tesla bubble. <music> So welcome to this super exciting stock. Before we diving in, I would like to show you I'm a freaking Tesla bull, okay? And this is not the masquerade that some YouTubers put on here. Since the inception of this channel in 2019, I'm maybe one of the biggest bulls on Tesla between hyperchange and financial education journey, okay? But uh, let me show you, there's a proof to that all over my first videos on YouTube. Let's, let's, let's have a look, uh, let's have a look together. Today, I will show you why I'm buying more of Tesla stock. Anything below $250, I will make a short stock analysis for you guys. And I will tell you why I think it's valuable. You know, from my other videos, why I love Tesla as a company. They're super innovative. So as you can see, I was a little bit thicker. I had shorter hair, bigger beard. And I thought if I put on a white jersey with a jacket on, it maybe looks a little bit more serious for a stock investing channel. But however, you got the message, even the production quality, because this was one of my first videos on YouTube, was uh, same like a ransom hostage video. You see that the content, the core message was always the same. And this is the very, very much DNA of this channel, okay? We want to find those companies that are changing the world and therefore doesn't matter if very, very low content quality or now with, you know, the quality and quantity that you are getting here on this channel. And I hope you are new here and subscribe or like this video because this is helping the channel so much to grow even further and i will promise you on the other side something that i will be always on the top of myself to show you which stocks i think will multiply their value something very similar that tesla stock did in the next couple of years to go we are just warming up and i'm super happy that you are into that so let's have a look what tesla stock is actually doing so as of this recording, you can see that the Monday 13% almost of gain was absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you know what was the reason for that? I will tell you it uh, in a very, very simplistic form. There is some people, they are retail investors uh, primarily. They are seeing the stock price going from 400 in 2019 and uh, 2020 to 1,000, 1,200. And they say, wow, I missed this opportunity. I don't want to buy the stock at uh, 1,000 or 1,500. So what they are actually doing is they waited now the stock split. They saw even the gain of the stock split uh, move, the trend. And now the stock is cheaper and some people are buying into the stock, which is, you know, even the stock price got cheaper. Obviously, the market cap of the company is even worse than it was in uh, 1,200 Tesla stock, obviously, you know. So it's just the psychological factor that is currently running those uh, new investors into Tesla. Nobody wants to miss this biggest opportunity, right? I mean, good for us 
uh, in the Tesla investors because we, you know, saw it so early coming and uh, could uh, gain the biggest gain so far. However, I'm super happy for those who think long term that the company will succeed because it will, right? I mean, the last three months were a dream for Tesla investors, 182% gain. This is something that you usually wait, you know, for growth stocks, maybe in a three year matter of timeline to happen, not three months, okay? Uh, worse even for short sellers, the gain since March. Those low March levels until now is a six, 100% gain. So I can only imagine how bad Jim Chanos, you know, Mark Spiegel or David Einhorn must be feeling right now. So uh, sorry to you guys. But let's talk bubbles real quick. What is a bubble? A bubble is actually something that happened a couple of times over different kind of products and commodities, stocks, uh, currency. We saw even flowers. And let's, uh, let's dive into the tulip bubble in the Netherlands. This was in the Middle Ages and people were actually so happy to own tulip flowers that it was so ridiculously high the price that it was sometimes to pay a life saving for a flower that has some kind of very special color mix and put it in the garden for you know a little bit of you know just a short time asset that is not worth anything after you know a couple of weeks so this is insanity guys okay this is insanity however you know obviously those flowers and those seeds were the ones of a money maker for many people out there and then it uh, burst all of a sudden as the big big tulip bubble and then we had one of the biggest stock bubbles during the dot-com crash. And this was, you know, the big time of the new internet, right? The thing that will change our world forever. And therefore, many people jumped into stocks like Amazon and other companies that just had dot-com in their title. And this was the highest PS ratios that I have ever seen. Alone, Amazon had a PS ratio of 30. Can you imagine 30 times was the value of the stock compared to its revenue? This is absolutely ridiculous. So if you consider that now we have uh, PS ratios like four, five and Tesla now around 12 or 15. So Tesla is still not in this dot com bubble, but can go into this territory if this continues. Now, if we consider that this is a high price for Tesla, then we have to segregate the actual value of the company. Let's say by watching this video as of this moment, the market cap of Tesla reached already $500 billion. Now this means that you have diversified this market cap because Tesla is a multidiscipline company. We have cars, we have self-driving, we have solar business and energy business. So you can have at least four different industries they are tackling right now. And Google bought Waymo for about $100 billion. And I think that Tesla has much more data, much more value than Waymo. So let's say $200 billion is already the full self driving business, okay, of Tesla. Then we have the EV business. I think that would be another 150 uh, or $200 billion mark. So let's take this off the table as well. Leaves us with 100 billion of market cap for solar and energy, while energy is a huge business, guys, okay? Huge, huge business for Tesla because they will revolutionize how we consume power. Think about it. The current power grid is generating power and putting it into the grid. Now, if there's a problem with the source, we don't have power, right? There's no storage. This is so ridiculous how we having our power grid system like we would have our internal combustion engines, cars driving with a huge fuel line to the tank stations at all the time and consuming as we drive. This would be absolutely ridiculous. And Tesla is changing this. They are making a big revolution into the power grid. So that's why I think that we are still not in bubble theory with Tesla stock. 
Okay, before we diving in what we learned or can learn from this video, make sure to press the join button. You can support this channel, you can get access to our Discord channel with the second tier and with the third tier, you even have the one on one with me. We will text on a regular basis and uh, this is the closest thing that you can get as a mentorship to a professional YouTuber and investor. So check it out by press the join button. Now, if you are thinking that Tesla is into the bubble theory, well, it seems that it's on the edge to getting there, right? If this continues, then obviously we will have some time a little bit less and less arguments, even as a huge Tesla bull to say that this is justified. Then this is getting just ridiculously. And there's one very nice thing. If you see that taxi drivers are already getting into Tesla stock, then this is one of the biggest signs of a bubble. The same was with Bitcoin. I have a friend who's very successful into Bitcoin and he actually said, you know, I saw that people were talking, taxi driver were asking me, should I invest in Bitcoin? And uh, I knew by then that this is going into a bubble theory. So if you see that people that have nothing to do with stocks suddenly buy Tesla stocks, then you should be very, very, very cautious. This is a very, very big red flag for Tesla being a bubble. Until then, enjoy the long-term perspective for Tesla, okay? Tesla will be one of the most significant company because it's changing how we are driving, how we will consume our power, how we will generate our power, and that all of this will be super in a perfect brand environment like Tesla, like the last time I saw this kind of law for a brand and company was with Apple and Steve Jobs. So one of a lifetime opportunity here to be part of Tesla. Thank you.